Domo Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of the NBA. So y'all check this out. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. But anyway, y'all know I'm a Laker. Y'all know I'm from L.A., born in Hollywood, right? L.A. dude. You know, no matter where you're at, you, you know, where you're born, you always got love for it. So I'm still a Laker fan, even though they're pissing me the hell off for the last couple of years. Listen, this Russell Westbrook hate is making me hate the NBA. And I'm a lifer, guys. I'm a guy, you know, I'm a lifer. I'm just training some kids just a few minutes ago. Basketball, right? Trainer, over 20 years. Uh, you know, played pretty high level, you know, at least semi-pro definitely uh, college level. You know, you love the game. But I watched the game evolve, and I watched all this crap, right, that's going on. Russell Westbrook, for example, you know, he's a scapegoat. We know that. Now, here's a guy. His last season he played was with the Lakers, which I didn't enjoy. It's the worst season for a long time. And his worst season for a long time was 18 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, right? That's his worst. Some people get paid millions to, to do that. Right? This guy, in his worst season, led the Lakers in rebounds, led the Lakers in steals, in his worst season where they kept telling him to do other things. He had just came from the Washington Wizards, where the Washington Wizards were playing with Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, and people who also play in church leagues and G-leaguers. I'm sorry, y'all, just to make a point. I know y'all could play some ball, but you know, the Gafferts of the world, the, uh, who we had, uh, Robin Lopez and Alex Lynn, right? Neto, stuff like that. Hachimura in his first year as a rookie, stuff like that. Russell Westbrook made that team look great after he figured it out. And if you just guys would just get the hell out of the way, let the man get the rebound and run with it, that's what his strengths are. All we do is talk about what he can't do. He's not a great shooter. So who gives a damn? I don't care about that. He's not a great shooter. He might make some turnovers. Well, hey, I'm going to have at least a two or three to, to, to one assist to turnover ratio because I'm gonna, if y'all get the hell out the way and feel the lane, I'm going to get 11 a game. So I'm going to have four, four uh, bonehead plays. No, he has four turnovers, and Russell Westbrook is going to give you one and a half bonehead plays a game. That's what he's going to do. I'm a coach. I tell you, and I, when I say bonehead, he's going to make a couple of bonehead plays even though I love him, he's gonna do that. That's gonna happen. Some things, when you're a coach, you understand you're gonna have certain things with certain players, right? But he's gonna give you his all and he plays every damn game, right? If we're gonna do this with the league, then the league is silly. The owners won't come out because I've said it before in other videos, Russell Westbrook keeps you engaged in the regular season. Like most of y'all wait for the playoffs for something to happen. Maybe so most people don't even start watching to the playoffs. Russell Westbrook kept you for four years because he averaged a triple-double, which tells you he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, right? And he's did that four years, and no one else has ever done it except for the big O. And we're going to let the league tell us that he's not good if he throws up an air ball, he makes a, 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 a bad uh, play or something, and we're sitting here talking to this man like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's making me hate the game because the game, let's be honest, it's nothing but a whole bunch of people shooting threes, right? And I've told you before, I can get some second graders, well, maybe fifth graders, and have them for six weeks, and they're going to hit threes, non-contestant. Now, I'm going to do a video in the next few days coming up about the de no defense in all leagues, NFL, NBA. They're just taking the defense out of the leagues and telling us as a consumer that we don't like to watch people play defense. Yes, we do. The way the league is right now, we would have never seen Bill Russell. We would have never seen Ben Wallace. We would have never seen Dennis Rodman. We would have never seen Bruce Bowen. None of those guys, actually, right? Well, Bruce Bowen, okay, because he was, he was a 3 and D kind of guy. But most of those guys who just played defense, what about all those seven foot two guys that were just blocking shots, or Mark Eaton, or Manu Bowl, or, or something like that? We would have never seen those guys. What would a, a guy that's seven foot two, the seven footers, what are they supposed to do? Work at Walmart, put, uh, putting stuff on shelves? We're taking their jobs away? We're telling them uh, that a few years back, hey, we're not gonna even have centers go to the All Star game? And we keep letting these stuff go through. What you have right now is exhibition games. Don't play no defense, let people shoot threes, and we can't defend them. And that's supposed to be what we're into? No, I watch Russell Westbrook any day over most people in the whole damn NBA. And people that are of a little bit of age will tell you that. This is nothing. 
Anybody. I'm telling you right now. Right now, if I could move like I used to, I would tell you right now I could play in the NBA. Easy. Because if you better not leave me open, and if you can't contest it, it's, who can't do that? And if I was in the gym, or you too, six times a week, you can shoot an open three. Who can't do that? That's not, NBA is supposed to be something like, damn, I wish I could do that. That's not what people say anymore. It's like, I could do that. That's not what the NBA is supposed to be. The NBA is supposed to be the very best athletes on the planet. And it's not anymore. So let's get it together. And Russell Westbrook is all of that. Leave the man alone. Stop telling him what the hell to do. Right? So I'm going to get up out of here. Doma Sports Talk worldwide. And I'm up out of here. And I'm about to miss this shot for y'all. Airball. Maybe I couldn't play in the NBA. We out.